Hey guys, this is CJ. I'm starting a new series based on technology. Uh, so today's going to be the first video. And I'm going to cover a couple of different areas, uh, being photography, Apple products, and some gaming related news. So first off, uh, I need to answer a question that people keep asking me. They see me put up my iPad video or cameras and things like that, and they ask me the question, do they send this to you? Are you endorsed? Do you work for these companies? The answer is absolutely not. These are just items that I think are great products. These are items that I use on a daily basis or a, a, a basically all the time and that I think that um, you know are, is worth sharing. So that's pretty much the answer to that question so you don't need to ask it anymore. There you go. So let's get into what this video is all about. First off, uh, we're going to start talking about some photography stuff, which happens to deal with uh, a small company. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's called Canon. Uh, <laughs> I use this company on a constant basis. I love Canon products. I love the way their pictures turn out. I love their color production. Uh, I love their video production and so on. Um, I love their cameras. However, in the previous week, they released a new camera that I'm not really that happy about the announcement. I can understand their position, but I'm not happy really with it. And this is the reason why. I own a Canon 50D. I've used a 7D. I've shot 7D, which is a great camera. It's a $2,000 camera. Um, but I own a 50D because that was a little bit more affordable for me. And I love the Canon 50D because it has some features on it that uh, are really good and they're, they're pro quality features that this new model does not have. And let me explain. The features that I'm talking about are 50D has a magnesium alloy body, which is metal. 50D has micro adjust, which has to deal with the lens and you know, calibration and things of that nature. And um, the 50D uses compact flash cards. The 60D has a polycarbonate body, which is plastic, does not have micro adjust, period, and uses SD cards, which are slower. So therefore, this camera is pretty much a glorified rebel. And the reason I moved from the Rebel line is because it was very limiting in options and did not feel like a quality item in your hands. It actually felt like I was holding a toy. Um, I, didn't, I don't like the polycarbonate. It feels like if you drop it, it's going to break. That's how I feel about that specific line. Now, I can understand Canon's position because Nikon <clears throat> has what's called the D90. Now, it's pretty close. The feature on it that's actually kind of cool is the swivel display on the back. Now that's the only huge difference, but other than that, there's too many drawbacks to the camera that I wouldn't buy it for. Um, just because of the fact that the 50D is a better camera. That's just my opinion. And the 60D does video, but you know what? If you want to make good videos, use a dedicated video camera because it doesn't have autofocus. It has only manual focus on the SLR video. Don't like it. That's just my thoughts. I love Canon products. I can understand their position. I will not be buying this camera, however, just because of the fact that it doesn't have the features I want. And it feels like a downgrade to me. That's just me. Anyways, moving forward. Let's talk about Apple. Everybody knows about Apple. iMacs, iPhones, iPods, MacBook Pros, things of that nature. So in the previous couple months, we all heard, and if you haven't heard about the iPhone 4, you've been living under a rock, okay? And the iPhone 4, I love this phone. I would not, I can't live without my phone. I have it with me everywhere I go. Now, the problems people have been finding out with the iPhone 4 is the infamous death grip. I don't have the death grip problem. I've never had it. I actually have better reception on this phone than I had on my 3GS. So... That's a debunk to have it being a problem on every phone. I have not had that problem. I actually think this is a much better quality phone. The phone actually, it, 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 the sound quality is so much clearer. Uh, the reception, anywhere I go is better. So that's it. I love the phone. It's a great phone. And if you hear all these big, these people making this huge hype over this death grip, it's not as big as you think. So that's my, my thoughts on that. Other news in Apple, Apple happens to be coffee, Starbucks. <laughs> Apple happens to be having a press release this coming Wednesday, which would be September 1st, 
And generally around this time of year, they put out a press release or press conference um, that has to do with iPods. Yes, most of the time it's usually based off of iPods and things like that. Now, the, the rumors I heard, and I don't know if it's true, um, that the iPod Touch is getting a revamp. Um, and that would be pretty cool. And the revamp happens to have possibly a front-facing camera and maybe a rear-facing camera, too. Uh, and rumor also has that FaceTime will be on your iPods versus just on the iPhone 4. And it'll, it will be email-based versus telephone-based. That'd be cool. That'd be great. You could have somebody who has an iPod Touch and you have an iPhone 4 and you're both on Wi-Fi and you're talking to them face-to-face -face instead of calling them. That's, it just sounds great. So we'll see what happens. That sounds really cool. I think that would be a cool uh, upgrade to the iPod. I would actually get another iPod Touch just for that. I have a first generation iPod Touch because I have an iPhone. Um, I would buy that just to have, you know, so I can give it to somebody who's maybe at my house and I'm out and about and they want to, you know, face to face with me on FaceTime. That'd be kind of cool. I think that's a, that I like the FaceTime idea. I think it's a great thing. I think all the phones will be like that in the next five, ten years. So that's just, you know, I think that's what's going to be the cool thing coming Wednesday. I hope that's the announcement. That would make me happy. So, moving from Apple, let's get into some gaming news. Uh, a couple big-time releases coming uh, this coming month. And in the previous, or previous months, in the upcoming months, previous months, wow. Uh, in the upcoming months, so let's start off with this coming month of September. Uh, if you're a Xbox fan, you will know that there's this little game that they call Halo. I don't know, have you ever heard of it before? Halo Reach comes out on September 14th. It's going to be a midnight release at most game stops, from what I know. Um, I know I'm going on the midnight release to get my game. And, uh, yeah, Halo Reach will be coming out, which is the next installment of the Halo line. Great multiplayer. I've actually beta tested it since I own ODST. And, uh... I think it, it, I'm looking forward to it. Now, I also play a nice little game that's called World of Warcraft. And in the coming months, their next expansion, which happens to be called Cataclysm, is supposed to be released. Uh, I've also ordered that, which happens to be a special edition. I'm stoked. Kind of getting bored of Wrath of the Lich King because there's really not much else to do since I've pretty much done everything. Uh, my guild has done everything. I mean, we've done everything. So, yeah. I'm waiting for that. Some big time gaming news. Also, the uh, Xbox Connect will be released in November, which is the hands free connection. I'm going to pre order that. I'm going to have one of those and then move my Xbox somewhere else. I would advise if you have a, a GameStop in the area and you're going to take your Xbox back, you're not going to get much for it right now. I think they said maybe about 50 bucks because they have too many of them because people are buying the new Xbox. That's just what I've heard. So, that wraps up this first installment. I'm sure it will get better from here on out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, um, anything you want to ask me, please send me a message either in the underbar or via mail or whatnot. And, uh, yeah, so that would be the, uh, the first installment of technology or uh, let's, uh, let's Talk Tech is what I'm going to call this. And uh, let me know, and I will start doing more technology-related videos. So, um, without further ado, as I say at the end of every one of my videos, stay safe online and in the real world. See you later.